Hi guys, Mike back again with a bit of a Forge World unbagging. Popped up to Warhammer World yesterday on Saturday the 16th. There was a, a, a weekend event going on up there. Uh, another YouTuber called Tabletop War James had, did arranged a, a, a weekend up at Warhammer World. Basically, put a put a, a shout out saying that uh, you know for YouTubers, Instagrammers, bloggers, anyone who's into the hobby to converge on Warhammer World on the weekend of the 16th and 17th of September. And uh, so I did. <laughs> uh, I wasn't playing myself. Um, I, I wanted to play some 30k Death Guard really in my mind, but I don't have a legal list yet. It's nearly legal. Uh, we were joking about it yesterday. I've got about 3,000 points of Death Guard and I haven't got a legal list as yet, but I am soon to rectify that with some upcoming videos. Lacking troop choices I am at the moment. So, um, well, not enough troops, so, <laughs> so or compulsory troops, I should say. So anyway, so that's fine. So yeah, met, met up with some guys um, uh, up there. Really, really good day. Uh, I, think, I think the 17th, the Sunday, when I'm filming this video, is actually going to be the busier day for people being, being there. But uh, I, I think they're going to look to arrange more events uh, next year, maybe later in the year. Who knows? Um, so, but it's, it's really good just to kind of put faces to names and, you know, meet people in, in real life, as it were. So anyway, purpose of this video is just to have a look at what I bought in Forge World. Didn't go mental, to be honest. Didn't go mad. Uh, I, th I thought I uh, I created a list, I created a shopping list on the Forge World website, as you do, and just sort of filled my shopping cart up with everything I could possibly have wanted for for my Death Guard army, and uh, kind of tried to trim it back from there. So I didn't go mad, like I said. Uh, I just picked up a few key bits. I've recently picked up. The uh, Betrayal at Kalf and the Burning of Prospero sets again. Uh, so I've got another 60 tr troop type marines that I want to use for um, tactical support squads and heavy support squads and some veteran tactical squads for my Death Guard. So, and then I've bought some some sort of supplementary upgrade bits from Forge World to, to attach to those plastics. So I'll move the bag out of the way and we'll have a look. First and foremost, I got this. This is out of the bag. Um, I picked up another Apoth Apothecary, Mark IV. Um, they, they come in packs of two. You get a Mark II and a Mark IV. And I went halves with uh, Callum from Tabletop Banter, who was also after another 30k Apothecary. And uh, so he had the Mark II and I had the Mark IV. So not in a box. So we split that. So that's cool. So picked up one of those. So that'll mean I've got my three Apothecaries. And then we'll just go through the bag. Can't really remember what I got. Um, so we picked up uh, the Death Guard Legion Upgrade Set, which is a huge box with five torsos in it, basically. Mark III torsos. Uh, I can't show you the fronts of them because they're not going to flip over, I wouldn't have thought. But anyway, I've got two boxes of those. Um, don't know where the other box is, so yeah. Death Guard Upgrade set torsos, so five. And because I'm doing squads of seven, I need to divide two boxes. So I've actually got 10, but actually I only need seven. Got some um, Cataphracti shoulder pads for my Death Guard, because I've picked up, like I said, the Kalf and Prospero box sets again. And basically all I wanted from those sets was the 60 troops and the Cataphracti Marines. And I've, I've sold the rest actually, which um, you know, meant I had quite a good deal on buying both sets. So I picked up some fancy shoulder pads for my Cataphracti. Also picked up the Mark III Command set, which is two guys, there's a banner chap, and um, like a Chosen as well. So, so that looks like a really nice set. So I'm gonna use uh, one of the not really nice for, uh, Forge World Death Guard decals for the, for the banner. So yeah, so Command set, which I quite like. What else did we get? Oh, I picked up the uh, Traitor Librarian in Cataphracti Terminator Armour, which is exclusive to Forge World. I don't think you can get it on the website. Maybe you can, but uh, but it was a, one of those exclusive minis that they happened to sell there. Quite expensive, 25 quid. Where in mind you can get two minis command set for 27. But you know, it's um, I kind of want to use them as a, as a traitor. Uh, maybe librarian console or something in my Death Guard army. And again, I know it's not very fluffy from us, you know, they don't really have psychers and Mortarian didn't like psychers, but 
Um, if I'm not running Mortarian, I could potentially run a Psyker in the army. So I thought, just because he's there, and it's exclusive, and it's just a cool model, and he's in Cataphracti Terminator armor, which fits my Death Guard army, I thought I'd pick him up. So I did. Then what we got? There's the uh, other torsos. So, oh, there's the fronts of him. You can see now the fronts. So, Mark threes, like I said. So I've got two boxes of those. I actually got so I've got ten torsos, but only need um, only need seven. <laughs> so then I picked up the Cataphract Die Special Weapons Upgrade Set again, just to supplement my Cataphract Die Terminators. I, I wanted the um, the Auto Cannon uh, predominantly, but uh, I'll use all the other bits too, more than likely. So I've got those. Then we've got Mark three shoulder pads to go with my uh, Mark three torsos. So we get 10 of those in a, in a box. There's those. Then uh, heads again, the upgrade heads. So I picked up, um, so this is for my veteran tacticals basically. So I'm gonna use seven torsos and I'll have three left over. So effectively I can buy one more of these giving me eight torsos and then I can finish a second tactical squad. Um, and the heads and the Mark III shoulder pads. So that's all kind of for the veteran tacticals. So that's that. Then we've got, what else do we go for? Um, wanted to pick up some heavy weapons and special weapons for my heavy weapons, uh, my heavy support squad and uh, my tactical support squad. So I went for some Legion auto cannons which are cool. And again, because I need seven, got two boxes. So I'll have three left over. And I also got, for my tactical support squads, some rotor cannons. And again, because I need seven. <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. So again, just, just something different. I wanted to buy things I hadn't really hadn't used before, hadn't painted before, just to give my army a bit of a different look. And, you know, auto cannons and, and rotor cannons, you don't really see a lot of, uh, for good reason, to be fair. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the uh, the Legion auto cannons and, and rotor cannons will make a nice addition to those squads. And again, like I said, something a bit different. What else? What else is in the bag? Um, Picked up some uh, vehicles as well, and again, I wanted to get things that that were very fluffy for Death Guard, and things that I hadn't painted before, things that I haven't had before, because it's always just interesting, you know, to have new stuff, uh, different stuff. So first one, picked up uh, Demos Pattern Mark One Predator. So that's just the basic Predator loadout. Um, I might do. I'll get a knife actually and unbox it. Just don't want to take the lid off it. So I wasn't going to start unboxing things, but I just want to have a look, just see what's in there. I might as well do it with you. So, and again, I mean it's um, yeah, I mean it's it's, it's repackaged in a white box, but basically it's uh, <laughs> a classic Rhino with the upgrade parts to make. Uh, the Predator, basically. So that's that. So basically it's a Rhino. So, was checked in August, repackaged in August, and, <laughs> and classic instructions. And again, we were joking about this yesterday that, uh, yeah, classic instructions, so. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's uh, what have we got? Auto cannons, las cannons. So yeah. But yeah, that'll be, that'll make a nice little addition and it's not too arduous to paint and it's not huge. So that'll be cool. So that's that. And we also picked up The Damocles Command Rhino, which I really like, and again, I mean, relative to Forge World, I mean it's you know 53. I think this was the Predator was 55, so I mean it could be worse, I suppose. <laughs> so again, it's going to be the same deal. Where we've just got upgrade parts to make the Damocles Rhino. 
and basically some rhino spruage in there as well. So gone a bit rhino mad at the moment. So that's that. And then what have we got? My main mission actually <laughs> was to pick up these uh, death shroud from a death guard. So really pleased they had those in stock. Uh, you have to ask for them because uh, the things in the Forge Rod store are all in the blister packs, are all in the uh, the sealed boxes. That's the only thing they've got on the shelves. They haven't got the bags out, um, which I suppose is why they're repackaging things in boxes so they can be stored easily on the shelf. So I've got my death shroud, which I'm really happy about. Uh, and then last but not least, I suppose the biggest thing, and again, have to ask for it because it's not in a box, is uh, the armored Proteus Land Raider which I'm very, very happy about. Um, this one is a full resin kit. There's no um, no plastic Land Raider parts. It's a, it's a complete uh, set. But the, the thing is you've got to attach the tracks to it. So um, yeah, so like I say, you've got to attach tracks to it. So that should be an interesting, interesting build. Haven't, haven't like delved into any parts yet. Don't know the quality. Uh, and I might do a uh, kind of a build video of 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 putting a all resin tank together, maybe. Uh, well, we'll see how we go. So I'm very excited. So that's all I bought from Forge World. He says all. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to go absolutely mad and spend lots and lots of money, but I wanted bits to supplement my plastic marines, and I wanted a couple of tanks uh, just to have a couple of tanks. Why not? <laughs> so I think next on the list is probably a Spartan. Uh, and uh, who knows what else but uh, but yeah that should keep me going for a little while anyway so that's it for this one I'll catch you on the next one cheers guys